In 2021, Fallout 76 received a series of updates, ranging from new content to bug fixing and more. But we are not done yet. December 8 marked the release of our last update for this year, Night of the Moth. Update 32 included both new content and a range of quality of life improvements that you, the community, have been asking for. So let us not waste any more time and take a detailed look at everything that has just been added to the game. First up, let us chat about the brand new seasonal event, the Mothman Equinox. The namesake for the December update, the Mothman Equinox revolves around a new sect of cultists called the Wise Mothman's Enlightened. This group has traveled to Point Pleasant to perform a dark ritual that will summon the mysterious cryptid during the peak of his power. Like with other seasonal events, the Mothman Equinox will begin at the top of every hour, at which time you will be prompted to travel to Point Pleasant to aid the Enlightened in their mission. The event will officially kick off after talking to Interpreter Clarence on the top of the Mothman Museum. But, as you could imagine, completing this event will not be a walk in the park. Not only will you need to complete the tasks of the ritual itself, but rival Mothman cultist groups will also gather and attempt to stop the Enlightened's plans, so you will need to fend them off simultaneously. Various timers will indicate when each task needs to be completed, and if you are able to do so successfully, you can head back to the roof of the Mothman Museum to summon the Wise Mothman and earn brand new plans themed around the cryptid himself. But that is not all. In between each ritual, you will be able to take down hostile cultist high priests across Appalachia in exchange for loot and a chance to earn rare item plans. But be careful here too. These high priests can bend the will of nearby creatures to attack you and further their own cause. Additionally, exploring Point Pleasant is something you also may want to do, as that will help you uncover the origins and lore of the Mothman's enlightened followers. The Mothman Equinox event is live now until December 21, so be sure to participate, get those new plans, and learn more about the Wise Mothman and the Enlightened. Second, let us talk about the improvements that we have made to public events. These improvements address three areas, the public event system itself, map descriptions for public events, and balance changes for specific public events. First up, in terms of the system, public events will now spin up every 20 minutes based on real world clock times, appearing at the top of the hour, at the 20 minute mark, and then again at the 40 minute mark. Seasonal public events, such as the Mothman Equinox, will always be chosen at the top of the hour, but all other time slots will pull from the existing list of public events randomly. While the start time for public events will be the same across all worlds, the public events chosen will still be different across each world. This has made the system much more consistent and predictable, ensuring you all know exactly exactly when the next public event will begin, no matter what world you are on. Secondly, public event descriptions on the map now display potential rewards, making it much easier for you to know what is up for grabs for each public event. Previewing these rewards is quite easy too. Simply open the map and click on an available public event to display the description. Finally, as for balance adjustments, we have closely monitored community feedback about many public events, especially in terms of their difficulty and length, and accordingly made several changes to ensure a better experience overall. We won't go through every single change made to all public events in this video, but some examples include increasing the resistances of the Brahmins in free range to help them survive more easily, reducing the time limit and enemy wave timers in line in the sand, lowering the amount of food required in Project Paradise per rank, and adding more resistances to the friendly creatures you need to defend, and for Radiation Rumble, lowering the ore collection requirements, doubling the resistances of the scavengers, and no longer automatically ending the event once the final collection tier is reached, so you can continue to kill enemies and gain experience until the now 8 minute event timer expires. Next up, what a lot of you have no doubt been waiting for, quality of life improvements. This update introduced a range of new features to Fallout 76, which we are hoping help make your experience in Appalachia a little bit more enjoyable. Let us start with some improvements related to looting. Nearby corpse looting has now been added to the game, so that when viewing the inventory of a dead enemy and selecting the nearby corpses button, you will be able to see and obtain the loot of both the enemy in question and other creatures around you, making it much easier to loot all corpses at once. But what if if you did not manage to get a hit on a legendary enemy before it died. Well, that is no longer a thing. Now thanks to legendary loot sharing, if you are simply nearby when a legendary creature is killed, you will be able to loot it and grab any legendary drops. This also means that you do not need to stress about whether other players have gotten a hit on a legendary enemy before downing it yourself. Just shoot away. Moving on to other improvements we have made, Team XP sharing now makes teaming up even more beneficial in Appalachia. When you or any one of your teammates kills an enemy, every other nearby teammate will also be granted XP for that kill, making it much easier for you to earn experience and level up. For you camp builders out there, we have added a new tab to the camp build menu that displays any new item plans which have been learnt in the current play session. 
so you can quickly identify any camp objects you have just learned. This also includes items unlocked via the Atomic Shop. Your Pip Boys are getting an improvement too, with a new key ring item in the miscellaneous tab that stores every single key within your inventory, making it much less cluttered as a result. Lastly, we have extended the contextual ammo system that features within Daily Ops and the Colossal Problem Public event to the entirety of Appalachia, such that containers, creatures, and other ammo sources have a chance to drop a small amount of ammo for the weapon you have equipped or just used to kill said enemy. And finally, this update marked the beginning of Season 7 in Fallout 76, titled Zorbo's Revenge, who makes his return after being defeated by Captain Cosmos in the Legendary Run. You now have a new set of rewards to obtain, including camp objects, skins, consumables, currencies, and more. So be sure to complete your challenges, earn score, and progress up the scoreboard. There is also another seasonal event to look forward to, Holiday Scorched, which begins December 21. Hunt down Scorch wearing festive attire in exchange for holiday gifts containing rare plants and other rewards. Plus, for those of you wanting something a little different to listen to in-game, be sure to tune in to the new pirate radio station, which is being hosted by a mysterious figure playing hours of new tunes and a series of radio dramas and commercials from before the Great War. And that is it. We hope you enjoy the very last update to Fallout 76 in 2021. Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below and look out for even more exciting content in 2022. Until next time, at Victorium.